So Charlotte is a California brown stingray. She is approximately 10 years old. She is carrying an offspring through an asexual reproduction process called parthenogenesis. The embryos formed based on just the mother's DNA. There's no presence of a father. It's basically where um, cells will split in the uh, second stage of meiosis, and specifically elasma breaks. They're still doing further research on elasma breaks since it is a rare process. There was a biological reaction in one of those eggs that triggered development of an embryo. What isn't clear is what was the process that triggered it. Science notes it as a way for the species to procreate and put forth more of their own species. We know that it happens more commonly in reptiles and in some bird species. It has happened in smaller sharks. Um, we actually have a small shark that has gone through this process 14 times. She is a bamboo shark. Her name is Ipa. Ipa has lain close to 900 eggs, and 14 of those eggs have grown embryos with no fertilization. We had one that survived for 30 days. Um, the problem with parthenogenesis is the offspring generally, you know, they only have that one set of DNA. So they're, they're weaker. With Charlotte, it is the first documented case in captivity of a California round ray. Obviously, Charlotte is secure, she's healthy, her system is good, her environment is great, or we don't believe this would be happening. And we are awaiting a hopefully live birth. There's no documented evidence of maternal instinct once the babies are born. It hatches inside the mother. And then shortly in front of birth, the ray rolls up almost like a cigar or, or a crescent roll. And as soon as they hit the water, they open their wings and swim away. These pups are born and they are fully self-sufficient when they are born. The data is just so little. Our hope with this is to create more data so more people can understand it. It's such a special gift. And for it to happen here in our nonprofit aquarium in the middle of the Blue Ridge Mountains is like once in a lifetime shot. Sometimes I'll just kind of sit back a little bit and watch the kids interact with her at the front of the glass. It's just, it's so special. And I'm so happy that, that people are getting to experience um, what Charlotte has given us.